All right, now we're going to show you the uh, receiver as a standalone uh, uh, receiver. It can be used for that purpose. Uh, this is where normally the earphone would go, but we are going to connect it to a powered speaker so you can actually hear it. It's easier for the video. Uh, this is the volume control on the receiver. This is the uh, Delta Tune to set the uh, synthesizer exactly on frequency. Um, this is where it normally would connect with the rest of the radio, but that's uh, not needed now. This is going to be the frequency display. This is to manipulate the, uh, the digits. I'll show you that later. Uh, here we have obviously an on-off switch and there is a 300 Hz and 3000 Hz filter bandwidth. There's two filters in this radio. Uh, this is uh, where it normally would hook up to the rest of the radio as well, but this is where we now will connect the power. For that we'll use the so-called H-bar. This will allow you to power up the receiver as a standalone unit. This is the battery unit for that. It will supply the power for the receiver. Uh, in that case, also through the uh, H-bar. This is where the battery will go. And this is the accessory box. Uh, we will need the antenna. Uh, again, as a standalone unit, it has an antenna jack that, once this is screwed in, will disable the antenna that comes in here and enable the uh, standalone uh, whip antenna, the telescopic antenna. So let's hook it up and, uh, and see what it does. Okay, we got everything plugged together now. Antenna is on there. Um, the uh, battery is on there through the H bar. We got our uh, powered speaker connected to here. And so what I will do is uh, connect an external antenna on this whip. I won't receive much because I got so much interference in here that we only will hear noise. If we're with my external antenna it's pretty bad, but it will be better than on, on the telescopic antenna. So I just made a, a contraption with a coax cable that I can clip on there and to the uh, ground. And then we will be able to actually uh, receive some stations. Now tuning is almost an impossibility with this thing, I mean step tuning. You really need to set it for a fixed frequency, which is also what the equipment was intended for. So we will uh, find a station with uh, my Yezu radio. And once we have found a station that sounds good, we'll switch over to the uh, FS5000 receiver. So let's hook up the antenna and get it going. All right, we got uh, the antenna hooked up with alligator clips. It's uh, a bit of improvising, but it will work. And then we'll start listening on the FT807 uh, to see if there's anything that we can uh, hear on the uh, on the handbands. Let's see if we can find a station here. All right. That sounds pretty good. Let's switch over to the uh, FS5000 receiver and see what we get there. 18.13... All right, 18.136. Let's see how this works. Signals are not very strong today. What do we get if I switch back? Okay, yeah, Roger. Um, I, I, okay, my memory is not what it used to be. Although it never used to be that good. But we're, we're uh, 68 years old now, and we don't remember things as well as we used to. So, uh, but, um, um, and we... Screwed up here. Uh, 
uh, narrow filter. You see it has some kind of discriminator, probably a built-in FSK demodulator for the uh, data reception, which is what it was designed for. It's a uh, transceiver to uh, to transmit and receive text uh, data messages. And it can do that in narrow band and wide band. And right now we're at uh, three. I don't know if it's visible. Three kilohertz bandwidth. That's what we have. Of course, it covers. Uh, uh, I think 50 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. So it's so possible to. Uh, receive broadcast. Let's uh, try that out. Alright, let's try to receive a broadcast station. Okay, 1.2 megahertz medium wave. Narrow and wide. As you can hear, it's right on frequency. And that's it. The uh, the receiver section of the uh, FS5000 spy radio works standalone. Battery supplied right now. And uh, quite a unique radio.